Lesson two, presenting DEI efforts to your board. Leadership controls the culture. You are part of that power and so is your board. Therefore, it is imperative that you operate as a team. Having a clear message, desired goals, and strategies to reach diversity, equity, and inclusion goals, and understanding where your board members are coming from when it comes to the mission, vision, and values and culture of the organization are tools you need for successful alignment. Diversity and inclusion trends are more heavily focused on the business case with compliance in mind. In the 2020 report from McKinsey and Company entitled, Diversity Wins, How Inclusion Matters, our findings from 15 countries and more than 1,000 companies that demonstrate there is a direct relationship between diversity and executive teams and financial outperformance over time. The report states, our latest analysis reaffirms the strong business case for both gender diversity and ethnic and culture diversity in corporate leadership and shows that this business case continues to strengthen. The most diverse companies are now more likely than ever to outperform less diverse peers on profitability. Of course, arts organizations are not for profit. However, the business case is still relevant. Innovative approaches to cultivating diverse donors, increasing employee retention, and maintaining solvency are necessary to keep nonprofits afloat. Review what other organizations have said about the importance of diversity, equity, and inclusion in the arts. Americans for the Arts, Grant Makers in the Arts, Theater Communications Group, Canadian Council for the Arts, and American Alliance of Museums have taken various positions. No need to reinvent the wheel. See what you might utilize from others as you prepare to present your case to the board. Developing the business case. There are three components to developing the business case for diversity, equity, and inclusion. Workforce, workplace, and marketplace. You heard me mention these before, but now is the time to dig a bit deeper. Workforce includes the employees. The workplace is where the employees engage in their assigned tasks and the marketplace is where the organization engages with the community, customers, and other stakeholders. Creating an equitable organization requires understanding and implementing the ways diversity, equity, and inclusion impact each of these areas. Understanding these components and how they relate to your organization is essential to presenting a case to your board to align with and support your shift in leadership priorities. First is the workforce or the employees. This is where you recruit, develop, retain, and advance people. A diverse network of empowered teams has open lines of communication to develop and critique ideas through inclusive work styles. A diverse workforce includes visible and invisible dimensions of diversity, many of which we went over in module one. This includes age, race, ethnicity, sexual orientation, disabilities, veteran status, working styles, thinking styles, religion, and various other identity markers that allow us to be members of multiple communities. A goal for this component can be to attract, motivate, develop, inspire, and retain the best talent from a diverse workforce as a competitive advantage. The second component for developing a business case for diversity, equity, and inclusion is the workplace. This is where people experience strong leadership, clear communication, opportunities for learning and development, performance management, home and work-life balance, rewards and recognition, collaboration and teamwork, feeling valued and having a say in the work they do and how it gets done. The goal is to create a work environment that is safe and flexible. Inclusion is demonstrated by employees being encouraged to collaborate across differences. Third is the marketplace, where products and services are delivered to your stakeholders. 
It includes branding and visibility, social responsibility programs, your organization's support for legislation protecting populations within the community, demonstrating a competitive advantage, and experiencing the impacts of economic factors and globalization. This is where community outreach occurs. Social responsibility is demonstrated, fair and equitable community practices are performed, strong leadership is visible, and a diverse supplier program is evident. Having a diverse workforce and inclusive culture drives innovation and helps the organization better understand the communities it serves. The goal is to strengthen relationships with diverse communities, visitors, donors, and other stakeholders, focusing on social responsibility to improve your organization's ability to attract and retain the best candidates. By now, you may have realized that your organization needs a complete overhaul, or you might realize that a lot of what you need is in place, but maybe not be as efficiently supported or demonstrated through practices and policies. Wherever you recognize your organization is in its diversity, equity, and inclusion journey when creating the business case, you don't want to stray too far from its current mission, vision, values, and culture. By making small but impactful changes consistently over time, you can develop buy-in from your board as well as your peers and employees. Activity. Part one, what's in it for us? You've collected data from your board members and determined the business case for your organization's diversity, equity, and inclusion implementation. Create an outline for presenting your ideas to the board. Answer the following questions. What's in it for me? You need to articulate why you are invested and how this aligns with your personal values and professional goals. What's in it for you? You must explain to the board how they benefit from your equitable leadership and strategic DEI strategies. What's in it for the organization? Specify how the organization will benefit in the short and long term from your new leadership priorities. Part two, creating your elevator speech. Complete the following outline to help you succinctly state why diversity, equity, and inclusion is necessary. One, write your name and role in the organization. Two, define what diversity, inclusion, equity, and belonging means within your organization. Three, share a compelling business reason why the arts must embrace DEI initiatives within the workforce, workplace, and marketplace. Four, make a connection between the organization's mission, vision, and values and the DEI initiatives you present. Once complete, this should take under two minutes to say. It likely won't be perfect at first, so keep working on it. Practice saying it out loud. Share it with a friend who may not be familiar with your organization and see if they understand. There should not be much jargon. It should easily be understandable. You should be able to use this speech for the board, your staff, and any external stakeholders with some minor tweaks. This concludes module five. Complete this activity and the module quiz. See you in the next module.